This Halloween spider bowl takes a little bit of effort, but it's well worth the results. Use it for decoration around the house or to serve wrap treats to your little spooks. For this project, you will need air dry clay, orange, black, green, and white acrylic paint, a lightweight plastic bowl, paint brushes, and Mod Podge. Cover the bowl with a thin coat of the air dry clay, pressing it thin and smooth with your fingers. You want to start with the inside of the bowl. Once the inside is finished, get some water on your fingers and smooth out the main imperfections and cracks. It does not need to be perfectly smooth. Then do the outside of the bowl in the same way. Smooth it out just a bit with water once it's covered. For the top of the bowl, just cover the edge with a thin layer of clay. Make the spiders by first rolling out a long skinny piece of the clay and then divide it into four equal sections. Press the sections together side by side to make the legs of the spider. Press the section in the middle flat. Put a little bit of water on the flat part and then make a ball for the body of the spider and then another ball for the head and press them into the legs. Make two more spiders and place them on the bowl. Wet the bottom of each spider and arrange it in the position you would like it to be. Let the bowl dry completely. This might take a day or two. When your bowl is completely dry, you can paint it. I'm gonna use white in the middle of my bowl. You might wanna do two coats for full coverage. You don't have to be too careful in between the parts of the spider at this point, she'll be painting over those in black. Now I'm gonna paint the outside of the bowl orange. Use a little green to paint the edge of the bowl. It doesn't have to be a perfect line. In fact, it looks better if it's not perfect. You do want to start to be a little more careful with the painting at this point, getting in between the spider legs carefully. Now you're going to paint the spiders black. I won't lie, this part is a little bit uh, tedious, but be patient and remember that it doesn't have to be perfect. You can always paint over mistakes. Make sure your bowl is completely dry. Now you're going to apply a coat of Mod Podge to the outside and the inside of the bowl, making sure you do a thin, even coat. And you're finished. Once the Mod Podge or varnish is completely dry, your bowl is ready to use. Be sure not to use hot or cold foods or anything that is unwrapped in this bowl. Please subscribe to my channel where I have lots of holiday and other craft ideas. You don't want to miss an episode.